time to do some, some group dangling, Guggen Squad style. So we're heading out to a lake that I've been to a few times. We've actually, me and John have been there and done some videos for y'all. Hey, Mr. Barbecue. Uh, they've entered the perimeter. Get the guns. Nice fish. Dude, that was did, sick. did you just call that backwater? Hang on a second. <laughs> that was malicious. <laughs> Uh, they were pretty good. We had a really good time out there. So uh, we got some weather concerns right now. We're kind of watching the weather, but uh, we got a house on the water with a dock. Can't get any better than that. So we're going to go stay for a few days, try to figure these fish out, maybe do a little tournament action, and just try to break the water down for you guys, see if we can catch some fish, have some fun, and do what we do here at the Guggen Squad. We made it! We're here! The land of big fish. Welcome to Possum Kingdom, folks. <laughs> the, the way people are talking about this lake, it sounds like it's going to be just a wild ride, but as with most Texas bodies of water, I have no idea what's going on because I'm from Alabama. But I mean, Possum Kingdom sound, kind of sounds cool. Got a nickname, PK. I'm in. I'm in it. I'm, I'm in this. Here we go, road trip starts now. 100 miles from DFW to Possum Kingdom. Let's go catch some fish. In 500 feet, turn right to US 380. Station, he told me there's another one up ahead. Apparently, there's a loves up here, but like, there is. Do you, I, do you, I might need to siphon some diesel out of your tank. I was gonna say, do you want to just siphon out of my my? Don't risk it because you're if you run out. Uh, I'm low on diesel, like really low. We've got six miles until the next gas station. Uh, CEO in his you know sporty car, he's zipping around. He's like, oh, don't worry, we got another gas station over here, I'll pull in. Well, he didn't pull in. He's like, oh, don't worry, there's another one. And I don't think he understands the dire strains of pulling a, a bass boat. And it's, it's not good when you run out of diesel, like diesel engine, so. This could be bad. We're slowing down, we're turning off the AC. Manual. Let's, let's open it back. This is such a win. This is a giant win right here. Big dub on the day. <sighs> Thought we were gonna have one of those Guggen Squad moments. Sorry to disappoint you. Probably wanting us to run out of diesel, but not today. It's a win. I knew you'd make it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! But we lost all the Where rollers. The was... Oh, there he is. He's taking it slow, man. He's in a Porsche. Yeah, he just want to get rocks on his paint. Get this one. Yeah. I was following John the whole way. It's like, 
the map says to go this direction, and I've never been here before. Like, I know where this house is. Seems right. The destination is on your left. 44. Get ourselves a spot. We made it. We're here. The land of big fish. Hopefully big fish. This is our Airbnb for the next few days. We've got a house, a pond, and a lake. And we've also got our own personal boat room. This is quite nice. This is, this is living large. Living large, the southern country way. You know, I, I took a different route as I often do just to explore the country. Arrive here about 20 minutes later and, um, you know, John B, he's in a vessel, can't stop this guy. Never stop, never stop, always stays on. And uh, I guess he's fishing a, a pond. This is like a separate pond off of the lake. This is, this is awesome. This pad is awesome. So I can't wait to get a line in the water. The lake looks really good. Uh, just excited to go fishing. I love John's spirit as well. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Let's go! John! My man! He's never gonna put that swim bait down on this trip now. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> He's never gonna put it down. Boom! <laughs> I'll bring him over. <laughs> Get a closer look at that guy. I don't it's think at that distance. I can't tell if it's eight or two. Yeah, you know? I don't know. See. <laughs> Coming in oh, wide. Coming in a little too hot there. Let's see this trophy. You see a nine pounder, baby? Yeah. Dude, that's a ni nice little fish, man. First fish of the trip, and it's on a big glide bait. Dude, nice. nothing more fun than that. Wow, they are warm. You weren't kidding. Yeah, they're really warm. Whew. Wow. We were just talking about how a smaller fish will eat these big swim baits too, yep. which is hilarious. Dude, this bait probably weighs more than the bass. Yeah. There we have it. Fly bait fish. See you. See you both. All right. Okay, we finally made it here. Day's winding down. It's time to go get some food, local spot, and um, we're gonna get it geared up and go fishing out here. The lake's full, full pool, looks amazing. There's gonna be all sorts of patterns going on. We just gotta go figure them out. So let's fill our bellies and then let's get to fishing. Oh, yeah, we're about to crush some Mexican. I wonder any rods, but these softies want to get some food. Oh my tummy, I need some food. It's gonna be raining all day tomorrow anyways. You yeah, that's when they rig bite, rods, bro. Rig rods all day. <laughs> <laughs> Me and John are going fishing in the yeah. freezing rain. Lojo and I will come back with a cool 30 pounds for y'all. Team nursing home is much Team much nursing home is just wiser. doing team nursing home things. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll be sure to fill up your IV when we get back. <laughs> Possum Kingdom Lake, one of my personal favorite lakes uh, in this area that we live in. We're about two hours west of DFW. It's one of the very few lakes in Texas you can scuba dive. It is known as a, a huge party lake. There's a lot of uh, fast boats that run this this lake, and people, you know, use this lake in the summer like crazy. Everyone from Fort Worth comes out here. Uh, it's gorgeous. It has uh, the Texas feel to it with cactus and the mesquites and all of that. 
Uh, but the lake sets up really diverse and it's a really cool fishery because you have shallow uh, rocks and uh, weeds and little flat areas, things you can flip and pitch, or you can go deep bluffs, clear water. Uh, it has striper in it, large striper. It has uh, white bass, hybrids, crappie, uh, gigantic catfish, and of course, largemouth bass. And it's also one of the few lakes in Texas that you can get a good swim bait bite going. So clear water, big bass, those things that you think about throwing big swim baits and things like that. But it's also one of my favorite lakes to throw top water at. So we've got amazing conditions right now. I'm hoping that uh, the rain holds off and we can get out there and start snatching some fish for you guys. If this is a bass, that's a striper. If it's a bass, it's a 20 pounder. <laughs> it's a bass! It's a large mouth. It's a big one. You aren't even doing anything. No, it's a striper, never mind. Oh, John, John. I'm on too. Help every baby, we're oh. on. Let's, Let's go, go, baby. Oh, good one. Striper, I got a striper. Welcome to Boston Kingdom, folks. That's an angry big fish right there. Absolutely cracked the zinger. They are striper. Nice. Yeah. Just snap that off, I got a ton more. <laughs> Dude, as soon as you said it, as soon as you picked up Alabama, I was like, well, we're about to find out it's if the striper's right now. We don't have that many lakes here in Texas that, that have these. Uh, and especially of this size, so this is one of the, the few lakes that, that has really deep water. Striper, are, they just decimate shad, so this lake is really healthy with shad population. And uh, these things pull like a tank. They pull a lot harder than bass, so really fun. And they smell good too. PK, gotta love it. Thank you. Oh, oh. let's go! Oh, I got two! Oh, you got two! Let's go, baby! Get him in. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Oh. oh, you got a striper! <laughs> this is so sick! Oh, this is so sick! Oh, yeah, they are. That was so cool! Look at that! <laughs> well, we thought they were largies, but we'll take some stripers to get the morning started. Oh my God! Oh, that's crazy! Let's go! Oh. Freaking top water, baby, offshore. In 20 feet of water. Let's go. <laughs> All right, not exactly a giant, but man, when they're eating top water like that, can't complain. Look how high up there. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Oh, God. Nice one, man. Ripper. On top of the school. <laughs> Whitey! Whitey! <laughs> I wish these were large enough, but it's still fun. <laughs> you guys will have to correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure the, the Alabama rig was derived from a lot of striper anglers techniques. They used to use these rigs called spreader rigs, and they troll with them, and that's how you catch a lot of bluefish and striper and on the east coast, but got adapted to bass fishing, and now we're back to square one catching striper on them. Decent fish. Thank you, little guy. That was a nice little warm up. Yeah. Got two species under our belt. Striper. I haven't caught a freshwater striper in a minute. And to do it on top water, on saucy swimmers, on Alabama rigs, can't beat that. There's some big ones down here, so we might come back here later, but this is striper weather. If we can't get the bass to bite, we can at least count on these guys. We're gonna have to go fish some more offshore stuff and see if we can get some, some green ones, some green scaly ones. Got him. They are wanting that. Think I want the other one up there. 
Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Come yeah. on, get no. Mike him off. There's two, there's two, there's two. Here we go. They're back on it, baby. Okay, just one now. Okay. But look at this one. <laughs> look at this one. Good one. My man. <laughs> My man, Reed ties. Reed ties <laughs> back in the game. Look at that. Spinner bait might be the trick today. Look at that oh, little guy. Wow, he freaking wanted it too. God, I have one on for a second. It's like a little pot of them just busted up. That is our first landed first thing to bass. First PK bass right there. Good keeper. Not a bad little guy. All right, let's get some more. Good little guy. I think they're up there, man. They're up, up, up there. Like taking advantage of this. Got him. Big and nice. Spinner blade doing work. <laughs> the old Zang. Come on, you old Zang. <laughs> Just a good fish, man. Heck yeah. My man. Look at that. Freaking team nursing home out here. Just doing it the old school way. Hey, exactly like that first one. That was a good tournament fish. That was a good fish. They like the spinner. Dude, they are rushing. They like the skirt too, this fish right now. About the same size. Will you get you one, please? Yeah, 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 no, hang on. Hang on, I'm just still transitioning out of striper mode. <laughs> right now we're just kind of point hopping, going to little humps, little points, pinnacles off the bank. I think it's, it can be so easy just to like get glued to the whole bank banging technique, especially down here in Texas when there are gonna be some pretty big fish shallow, but I was just telling Lojo, like I think these fish are post-spawn. April 3rd is when we were seeing a lot of these fish shallow spawning and now the water's almost 70 degrees. I'm gonna probably find some out deep. I don't think it's warm enough for them to be super, super deep, but I think it's still worth fishing off the bank, chasing shad around, you know, just looking for the bait. And we're not spending more than 10 minutes at a spot. We're like fishing it, fishing it, no bites, no love, out, next, next zone. So I think this weather's about to turn too, so it might get a little soupy out here. That little spot that was uh, where we got those bites was closer to a spawning area. And this is more like really far into post spawn, like summer. God, look at that. Just mm, got him. Tree pounder. Just practice. Just practice. But um, we've had a, you know, a 200 yard stretch here. We haven't got a bite. And we're getting farther away from that, that spawning area. So I think we need to stay closer to that. But. Right now we got rain coming in. I think we're gonna holler at the other boys and we're gonna go get some daggum coffee. Wake up. We got storms ahead. Um, we're gonna go in and get biscuits and coffee. It's time. We haven't eaten breakfast. We got up thinking about fish. Pretty sure John thought about fish all night. So uh, this time we, we nourish ourselves and maybe wait this storm out. It could get good later this afternoon as far as weather goes. Um, but right now we're like on the front of it. It's starting to get real windy, cold. It's May. This is normally tank top weather. So very strange, but hopefully we'll get the fish going next uh, 24 hours. Well, uh, restaurant was closed, so good. <laughs> It's probably a good thing we need to take some time and re-rig anyways, and we've got some cover here from the wind and rain that's coming. But dreaming about that warm cup of coffee and just slamming into a large green fish today. So we know one of those things is about to happen with the coffee, but hopefully the other thing happens too. I keep telling people about the birthday. That is a logo. That is a logo. Hey, look, I've been talking about the Hummer for a long time, okay? So, this is actually great. This little uh, moment that we had down here to get re rigged up because now we know there are fish shallow. So, when old Kendrick was telling me about where they were catching them, all I could think about was putting a buzz bait on. So that might be the move, kids. Oh, yeah. Me. Guy freaking ate it. So, not exactly a big one. I thought it was a little bit better than that, but 
Nice green fish. Sure does feel good to be in here. Yeah. Away from the lightning, getting some good snacks, water, some hydration. You know, you know what's nice about in here that outside doesn't have lightning, uh, onion rings. Yeah. Onion rings in here, lightning out there. No brighter. It's just, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take a little break? It does look like it's kind of slowing down a little bit. So hopefully by the time we're done munching and drinking, the fish will be ready for us. I think the information we got from old Kendrick, catching them shallow, Buzz bait got a bite, look, my third cast off of a dock. Off I mean, dock, yeah. While we were just kind of messing around. Not a bad one, too. Not a bad fish, so there's a good chance I'm going to be throwing that a ton today. Especially if we can find some good shallow water. Even some grass things. would be amazing. But. You're bringing the buzzbait back. <clears throat> yeah, I think I, I feel am. like it was just kind of a lost start. You know, you're showing everybody. It's just so good. Feel. The great rain bait too is what I was telling him. Like Misty I, conditions. Yeah, if I could only pick like one lure to throw in rain, I mean buzz bait just makes so much noise. It's so disruptive. It's easy for him to find and see. So I'm probably locked in. After that one fish, <laughs> I'm locked in the rest of the day, I think. But we'll see. Water, if you're watching this video, please sponsor us. Well, Matt is talking a huge game. This morning he broke off on what he thought was a nice fish, probably like two and a half pounds. Don't know how you break off a 20 pound unless you're just that bad at fishing. Uh, I won't say I'm bad. I won't say bad. I'll just say I'm skilled. Um, but he's talking a big game. He thinks he's going to catch a bigger fish than me today. Uh, which is cool. Like I, I like the optimism. That's neat. But uh, we we thought we'd just we'd put this to the test. I'm confident in myself. Matt's somehow confident in his skills, and uh, somehow. we're just gonna have a little private one v one, little one v one private. These guys are just gonna have fun and fish. Uh, okay, so you're putting hey, pressure don't, on don't me. Don't lean on him. No, okay? no. It's just this is just a me and John thing. You need me to put you on fish. We're gonna yeah. I need you to it's easier to perform. That's not my problem. I've, I already told him I've already caught more fish than he's bucks. thought of today. So hundred bucks. Here's our strategy. And the bonus, and the bonus is the biggest striped fish. Yeah. So it can be striped bass or white bass. The bonus. Here's our strategy. We need to find a lot more of these and inject them. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> we won't turn them down. We've been here for probably two hours now. I mean, luckily, perfect timing. This place is about to close. But as you guys can probably tell, the sun's kind of coming out a little bit, the rain is stopping, the wind is kind of idle. So perfect time to continue this challenge. And apparently now we have some money on the line. We have some, some uh, vendetta, personal vendetta going on. Luckily, I'm not involved, so me and Rackley are just, uh, we're just here for the beer. You know what I mean? Here for the beer. <laughs> just boomers. Boomers. Getting out there, but that's throwing right. boomer lures. Yeah, boomers that's out here right. throwing Carolina rigs and buzz baits. <laughs> and buzz baits, that's it. Might throw a grub. <laughs> Might really get after them. Curly tail grub? <laughs> yeah. Jelly worms and. Might get after them with worms. That's fine. Yeah. Team nursing home. That's right. We've drank our drinks, we ate our food, the rain has stopped. It's good breakfast. Good breakfast? <laughs> Let's go catch some fish. Cheers. Good luck, but uh, cool. don't catch anything too big. I'll get you guys out there. So I'm going to give John a little head start. He's, he's already blanked already today on the nice largemouth. I've already got two in the boat, broke off on another. I'm not too worried. Team Nursing Home about to go find these fish. I'm not worried. He's putting pressure on me now. He's like, better go get on some fish. I feel good about it though. Um, the rain's moving out. There's going to be fish up shallow. I feel like just getting bites right now is probably key. Pop some twos, probably get a four. I think, we'll, I think we'll set you up. I'm so pumped to absolutely hammer these bass. I don't know what it is, but this year I've just been in this competitive mindset. Of yeah? Not fished very many tournaments in my entire life, but this year I fished two. Today I really just want to show Matt what it's like to be good at fishing. Dude, I want you to show Matt. I want you to too. I want you to go live on the buzz bay. I want, I want you to really 
just shine bright with, yeah. with the Hummer. I plan on it, man, but the thing is, if I catch a big one and you don't, we might have to pull the old switcheroo. Though, he gets you on the board. Barely sucked it in there. All right. We're freaking on them, boys. Yeah, we're slowly figuring something out here. Ain't that big. Give you plenty of room to flip them in. Did I get you on the board, man? I don't think. Out here on this lake, it won't get me on the board, but it's a good fish. Dude, Kinder could zero, man. You're giving him he too could. much credit. Should he I could just put it in there. I don't know. You want to go home with us? <laughs> yeah? All right, fine. We'll put you in the box. <laughs> we'll bring you home. Hey. Thank you. Give me a kiss. A little slower than we thought it'd be. We thought this was the program. Come out here, throw a spinner bait against the bank. It's not working out right now. But uh, we're not done here. We got stuff in the bag of tricks still. I have to get the bandito bug out around this point, around these trees. Give her the old slow drag, yeah. Well, no, these fish are here. You seeing them? Not really, but this is where we caught them this morning, and uh, well, they might they might have been on a shad spawn eat this morning. So I don't think they're gonna go too far. Got it. All right. I had to let him take it. Well, he was like just nibbling with him. Uh, I don't know. If this, is, this one's probably not the flyer uh, guy. Well, I'm, from a, a size standpoint, that one's not going to win you. I don't think this one's going to win many tournaments for us. We're getting closer to our main lake point here, and my friend just bandito bugged one up. So we're uh, just kind of picking apart boulders that we see but there's some trees out here that I'm really interested in, in throwing at that I think we can get a good one on so we got to get a little bit bigger than that buddy I know don't want you losing I, here my apologies small fish oh my god no oh my god it oh. was so big thing was so big. Oh my god. So, we started this morning off by fishing deep, looking for for some stripas. Caught some, which was good. Um, then we tried to catch some green fish out deep. That didn't really work out. And now we're resorting to fishing shallow with some top waters. I just lost a nice one. Real nice fish. We're not getting very many bites. I think if it was a little bit less windy, we'd have better opportunities at top water strikes. But this chop makes it hard for those fish to key in on a on a you know walking bait or a hummer. So I think these fish that are up shell are, are fry garters, meaning they're guarding their babies. Um, bass are great parents. So if you throw a topwater bait over their their youngins, they're gonna try to eat it. Not necessarily eat it, but use their mouths to kind of attack it and, and get it out of the get out of the way. Yeah, I had something nice. That was pretty lame. We're not gonna talk about that though. That was that was painful. Certified largemouth. Where's the tree? We need to hit those trees up here. Yes. What's up? Big boy. Right on our point. Right where we caught them. They're here. I'm talking about this one. This one could win a hundred dollars. <laughs> There we go. Woo. Good 15 inch Here we go. Pass. I'm liking my my chances here. Okay, so you got scale? Yeah, I do. I got my official scorekeeper in the boat. Let's put the clamp on. It's looking like uh
Two, four. Okay. Two, four. It's a big one. Yep. John B. Good luck, bud. May or may have not added a little bit of gravity on that one. <laughs> it looked like it needed to be two, four. I mean, I got two fish in the boat. I don't know where John's at on this right now. That's fish? Yeah. Little pike in there. Got one. Okay, here we go. This might be a good one. Give me a ride. Yep, it's a big one. Of course. Of course. I'm happy for you. I just need to win some money from John B. How big is this one? It's big. Oh! Okay. It is big. Okay. Throwing a four inch lunker log on the bank. <laughs> she just picked it up. Hey, here we go. <laughs> wow. What a fight. Need some help right here, baby? I mean, oh my gosh, it's a big. It's a big one. Right. Hey, do you want to reel this fish in? <laughs> no, I don't want to reel this fish in. For points? No. You know, I've been waiting. I've been waiting on one of these babies. Finally, finally I get a bite. It's a big. At least four. Over here. Goodness gracious. Supercharged. It's got the turbos on. Oh, man. You know, I don't have big line on. Oh my gosh, man. Look at the look at this fish. I'm scared it's gonna get me in the tree. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Mad respect. If this fish got off right now, I would just, it wouldn't disappoint me. Don't say that. <laughs> just the fight is so awesome. That's, that might be bigger than four. This could be a fiber. I mean, that is a, that is a healthy specimen. You got it? Mm. You gotta just give it the old light line. Yeah, buddy! Look at that, perfectly oh hooked. <laughs> perfectly hooked in the top of the schnapps. Like it was barely hooked. Barely. Just had to oh take her gosh. easy. Look at that fish. That's a five. That I threw probably the smallest bait. One of the smallest baits I have in this boat, four inch lunker log. That oh is a five. Oh my gosh. Where's that scale at? Wabam. Wow, oh, I love you so much. Oh, God. Ooh. He was over here talking about how he caught a fish all day. I've caught like four or something like that, and this guy comes out with a freaking five plus first fish out the gate. I don't even think I have four fish totaling that. You know? Oh, yeah, wow. That's almost six. Five pounds. I saw yeah. 10 ounces I saw one 10. time. Five, <laughs> ten. five, ten. five pounds, 10 ounces. Nice. God dang, nice fish, Rackley. Really nice. Weird. So I picked up a weightless bait, hadn't picked it up all day, and I was expecting to get a bite around the trees. We saw a fish on live scope that was on a tree and it kind of swam off. And I just threw up on this bank where Matt had caught one on a spinner bait earlier. And I was like, oh, my line's moving off to the left. <laughs> Set it and I was like, oh man. And, well, you guys saw the fight, really awesome. So maybe they want that little, that little finesse I mean, kind of deal. It does look tasty. I, it's. All right, so let's take this photo, send it to. Yeah, yeah. Let's say, so we're gonna. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna trick him out a little bit. Take a photo, Matt with the fish, and uh, you know, just give God, John a little, uh, you know, a little something to poop his pants over. Stew about. Always. Like yeah, like that. There you go. Hold up a little higher. One, two. Oh yeah. That's gonna. That's gonna. That's, that's gonna, gonna, gonna get him. him. Yeah. Baby bass colored four inch lunkered log. I'll be honest with you, I don't throw a lot of four inch stick baits. I just went finesse because uh, I hadn't got a bite all day. And the first one, 
turns out to be a big. So let's let this baby go. Beautiful, healthy fish at Possum Kingdom. One of the best fights that I've had all year. And I've caught some fish bigger than that, but just on light tackle, finesse, and it was barely hooked. Angling, and I won. All right, we're gonna send this to John. <laughs> Buddy is slaying. <laughs> He's never gonna stop fishing. He will never stop fishing. <laughs> We're gonna be out of here till tomorrow. He's gonna. He's never gonna give up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that fish looks big in that photo too. <laughs> That's gonna. That would get in my head for sure. <laughs> oh, John. There's Matt with a nice fish. That's pretty good. Bye bye. What's he got? Four or five pounder. Oh no! I think Rackley caught it and gave it to him, you know? Yeah. Probably fall back from him. Alright, let's get the out of here. We need to put it in the hyperdrive. Yeah. That's all. Matt, I'm coming for you. It's not over till it's over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gosh. Oh, I missed him. Oh. You got him? I got him. But what's oh. going on? Oh, oh, it's a good one. Here we go. He was swimming towards you. Yeah, that's what I was like. Why is he not getting on? Oh, wow. Okay. 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 It's a little better. It's a little better, buddy. Woo! There you go. There we go. This one actually might win us something. Oh, look at him. Would you just look at him? My God, big face. He's got a big face. He's kind of a yeah. solid Well, body, something's but... up with his tail. Look at his tail down here. What's he's been on? working this year. He's been working. He's been getting after it? <laughs> yeah, he's it's been on those hard ab workouts up shallow. You know what I'm saying? There we go. All right, let's play I, this I, guy. I think he's over two. Guggen big bass official here. Two pounds, 12 ounces. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. There we go. John. There you go, bud. Keep throwing your Guggen glide bait out there, buddy. I'm gonna keep catching these on the Beetle Bug. Got about an hour and 20 to catch a really big fish. Can I do it? Yes. Yes, I can. Keep this never stop mentality. Full effect at the moment. We just gotta find that right bank. How to catch a bass. What John B. Big bass. Oh, that's bass. That's bass. 100%. Big bass on a spinnerbait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Holy cow. I would have told you that was like an eight pounder. I mean, but. You're coming with the size. I'm coming with the size today. <laughs> size matters. Look at that. Fat as my arm. Good one. Dang. Good one. That's a thick fish. Love you, sweetie. It's at least a three squatty. Love it. Love it. Woo! That one tagged it so hard. Love to see that. Exactly, yeah. Come here, buddy. Well, white hummer. I mean, God, they're so warm, man. This fish is so warm. If you want to cuddle up with them. Yeah, if you're, if you're looking to cuddle up with a fish, these are great. But if you're looking to win a big bass challenge, this is not really what you're looking for. It is cool that the topwater bite, every time we think it's over, we'll get a hit. 
But these hits are they're not like hits hits. They're they're slurps. That was another slurp. I didn't so see that bike. No, yeah, like, man. Yeah. You wouldn't even have heard it. It was just like no. So I appreciate it, little buddy, but we're gonna need to find your mother, possibly even your grandmother. That would be excellent. Back at the dock. 5.48. Did we leave the door open? It's a good possibility we did. Hopefully there's no hogs in there. But, uh... John literally... He went right to the place that we just fished. So, he's gonna grind probably till about 8. I think we're gonna chill. If we want to fish, this is a good place to come out. And maybe we get back in the boat. But I think for now, we just... We celebrate the dub. The oh, early dub. Yeah. Yep. Celebrating W's. That's what we do on Team Nursing Home. I caught one bass all day. One large mouth all day. I'm not very proud of myself. All this, all this equipment, all this gear, all these years of fishing. I couldn't even, I couldn't even get one past Matt, Matt Kendrick. Nice. You gotta remember, man, he had, he was basically on a guided trip. Right. Featuring Justin Rackley. Right. So he was basically on a guided trip versus, you know, us who were not on a guided trip, so. I mean, talking about Rackley here. Yeah. It's a weapon. Me? It's the opposite of a weapon. I'm like a squirt gun. Yeah, there you go. Like nerf a, gun. I'm like a super soaker nerf mm -hmm. gun, yeah. Compared to Iraq, who's a 50 cal. Right. Just a Fully sniper. Loaded. Deadly, one shot, one kill type oh. deal. Look, he gave it his all. That's all you can do. But I, I really want to see the smile on Matt Kendrick's face. We're going to be able to see it from like 100 yards away from the boat ramp. We're going to see his big smile. John B coming in on an absolute beeline right here. He's like, what are these guys doing? <laughs> Look at Buddy just making way out here. I'm trying to figure out what to do. John, that was some of the best driving I've ever seen. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Are so, yeah, you gonna see our big fish? Yeah, let's let's see how big I it do. is. Here's my big bass today. Wow. Wow. wow! wow! Look at that guy. Yeah, well. <laughs> Didn't see that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we put all of our big ones back. We want to show you what a smaller one looks like. <laughs> uh, well, that's my only large mouth the whole day. <laughs> did you weigh it? No. It Should definitely I? wasn't bigger though. Did you? Was that right? That was your fish, it was wasn't it? Fish. I, I knew it! I, but, I but, knew it, dude! In the back of my head, I'm thinking... No! I think Rackley caught it and gave it to him, you know? I'm thinking, why would Rackley send me this? Why would Rackley send me this? How big was yours? I caught several, but How the, big big, were the biggest one was almost three. Uh, it appears, uh, appears our brethren didn't quite bring the hog to the scales. So, uh, you know, CEO, one. John B. None right now. <laughs> it feels so good. The least I can do to this guy for all the stuff he has to put up with us is let him win one little tiny derby. $100. $100, buddy. You want direct deposit? Venmo? Or do you want me to just buy you... What is he? What are you into now? The action is not over. We had a good time today, but uh, we're going to hang out tonight. The weather's going to clear out. Tomorrow's looking really good. We got... Rob coming in tomorrow. He's gonna be jazzed up to go catch him. So we're gonna have a little competition now that we've all got the juice flow. So a uh, little 2v3 or 2v2 tomorrow. I hope I hope you can stick around. The big bass. No, I need to here. see our, our pro angler come in and see how he's, yeah. see what he's doing. Yeah, the tournament scene. Hope you had as much fun as we did out here today. Stick around for the next video and thank you for tuning in as always to the Googan Squad.